Welcome back to News 360. This is Mission. And tonight on Mission, we focus our searchlight on the fisheries sector. This edition of Mission is funded by USAID from the American people. This evening, we'll take you to Halfa City in the Western Region, where school children skip classes to engage in fishing. Intervention by stakeholders to check the exploitation of children in coastal communities is yet to yield the desired results. My colleague Stanley Niblo reports. Ghana's Children's Act bars the exploitation. This is also entrenched in the African Charter on the Rights and Welfare of Children. However, in many coastal communities in Ghana, issues of child labor are often overlooked. Halfasini in the Jomoro municipality is not an exception. Here, many children abandon school to engage in fish-related activities at the shore. On some occasions, they go for fishing themselves. While the news team was at the shore, we chanced on 12-year-old class 3 pupil Shadrach. He, with two other friends, have skipped classes and are engaged in fishing. With a piece of a monofilament net, they carry out the activities in earnest. They told us they have already earned 30 cities from their first catch. Some fish processors were waiting to buy their next catch while they continued fishing. The available market for Shadrach and his friends compels them to keep abandoned school for fishing. Shadrach tells a news team he uses part of the proceeds to buy educational materials for school. He, however, acknowledges what he does is dangerous. I'm going to he tells us his parents support what he does, but we could not confirm because they were not home during our visit. Apart from Shadrach and his friends, Many other children are also into this. Some fishermen were concerned. Me, I feel bad for them because they need to stay home and study and learn some, something in the home. So if there's any homework and whatever they can do, but the, children will, the children will leave them to roam about. Perpetual is a teacher in one of the government schools in the community. She is equally worried about the trend. When I came, I didn't know this place was a fishing community, so sometimes the kids will come nicely. Especially during the, the fishing season, they will not come. When, they, when you ask, they will, they will say that they are going to hustle for money. A class one pupil going to hustle. I said, ah, I didn't understand, so I followed them to that place one day, and I saw this kids over there with their nets fishing for themselves, and I asked why. And one of them told me that they are doing that to help their parents. And I was like, why? Why, why? why would you even leave classroom and go there? And they'll be like, Madam, if we don't go, we will not eat. And this has been the biggest problem in this town. Sometimes you'll be writing exams, you'll not even get them. You would have to chase them, you'll be teaching, and they will leave. When they hear that the canoe has come to the shore, they will just leave classroom. They will tell you, Madam, we are going to unite, Madam, we are going to toilet then. That is all, they will not even come back. For the Jomoro Municipal Chief Executive, Louisa Ade, 
It is important for parents to understand the dangers involved in allowing their children to take such risk, which also affects their growth and development. It is natural for children to go into what their parents do, but I'm asking, there is time for everything. For us as an assembly, some of these things will get to us, but I, the, the, the whole problem begins from the home. If we are not able to uproot it from there, I will go there and do all the necessary education. As soon as I move away from the coastal area, the parents will call their children to the show. One thing I want parents uh, that are involved in fishing business to know is that a time is coming that you will grow old. And this is Africa, this is Ghana, where we have always said that uh, your parents will take care of you, of you for uh, your, your, your teeth to begin to show. And then when they are also growing, you take care of them. So the one that is going to take care of them, how prepared, how well have you prepared that individual? That's your children. I beg them. All of us, we had parents who were farmers. I was going to the farm. But that one was not distracting my academic work. Assistant manager of the Fisheries Commission in Jomoro, Isaac Frimpong, further proposed tough sanctions to address child labor and its related issues. We need to bring the leaders on board to, to help us, or we all together sit down, decide. Because I know uh, as part of this project, we, we've had engagements on uh, some of these things that are happening in the communities. Uh, so probably we can come out with some bylaws to regulate some of these things in the community. As a sustainable development goal for promotes quality education and lifelong learning for all, it will be imperative for stakeholders to commit to their children's welfare and safety at all times and take prudent steps towards their retention in school. Well, we are still staying in Halfa Sini in the Jamara district where marine resources have come under threat because residents have returned the shoreline into a dam site. Now here's a report by Stanley Nibleo. Fish protein is preferred by many. In Ghana, the average per capita fish consumption is estimated at 28 kilograms, higher than the global average of 13 kilograms. Fish also account for 22.4% of household food expenditure in the country. However, the manner in which fishes caught are handled at the landing beaches raises their health concerns. The news team was in half a in the Jomro municipality. Here, the livelihood of residents is largely dependent on the sea resource, but the beach fronts are not properly maintained. The entire coastline is engulfed in filth. For years, garbage generated domestically are heaped at the seashore, and some enter the sea whenever it rains or during high tides. Apart from that, pellets of human excreta are also visible all along the shore. And this is the very place that fishermen come to offload their cash to the fishmongers for onward processing. For some fishmongers, the heap of garbage at the shore serves a good purpose. <laughs> Now, so send up on a bow boob in your dark tray, which are so tray. Nina, condemn. It is, sir, says up on a bay, do you know who are a pra, a pra, so you're some young woman. Yes, a puny by Pimona, but sanity. This fishmonger and her family, who live very close to the dam site, are already bearing the brunt of their community's negative practices. When they are harming a boy, no girl, when they are can't want it. Me come pa bon wa yam to me je me je aka nti wa re o dugu amon ma so wa bra o be je wa bra so ane na me yi be bi tin tin mate ada mala so mo ka fa nam na ba ne bo re no ho nti wan se me se se nam no ho a o de yele ba no de baba amidst the insanitary conditions catch made by fishermen are kept on the sand before selling it to fishmongers <laughs> The Jomro Municipal Assembly has provided a dustbin to the community, but residents hardly use it. Kronos was the chance to be so I want for Bola Nungu. Bola ni yama wamba fa. Into abanuma wamu baby I want for Bola Nungu no wada abaha. 
But what has the local authority been doing about the insanitary situations at the landing beaches? As an assembly, we are doing our best. But look at the number of the staff that are here. Look at the number of communities, 26 communities along the beaches, and the number of the indigents and the people that live in those communities, and the kind of refuse that they create. We have containers that we put at vantage points. Do you know what some parents will do? Instead of an adult carrying that rubbish to go and deposit it in the container, they call a five-year-old girl, a boy, to carry it. You see how huge and then the, 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 the length of the container. The child cannot reach that level. So the only option is to pour it down there. Then it becomes another heap at, at, at that area. Then they will call the assembly again. The assembly is not coming to clear around. What are we doing as a people? Sometimes we need to tell ourselves the truth. It is about time we change our attitude. Isaac Frimpon Atta is the deputy manager of Fisheries Commission in Jomuro. Because when I came, there was that massive education about those things. Uh -huh. And personally, I've, I've also heard the chief fisherman. I, I, I must be true to this one. I've heard the chief fisherman sometimes beat the gong, warning people not to defecate there, not to throw uh, uh, garbage. I remember there was a time UCC also on this SFMP project, they came on the lagoon, people dumping refuse there. And in fact, we've done a lot in the past. People are aware that what they are doing, their actions are not the best. But yes, they are doing it. Goal 14 of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals promotes the constant conservation of sustainable use of the oceans, seas, and marine resources. If this is to be achieved by 2030, coastal communities like Hafasini would have to wake up to the consciousness of the importance of the marine resources and contribute their quota towards its protection. Stanley Niblu. TV3 News, Half Asini, Jomoro. And that's it for Mission Tonight. This fisheries edition of Mission is funded by USAID from the American people. Thank you for watching.